unbelievably, I've just picked up this Sierra Cosworth for the week. Yes, the owner of this car wanted to get it on the channel. He wanted to bring some content from a Sierra Cosworth, uh, probably one of the best ones I've ever seen or ever had the opportunity of shooting. And today, I pick it up for the week. Yes, we have this vehicle in the stable for an entire week. So I'm going to actually daily drive this. I'm gonna enjoy it in every aspect I can. Taking it to the gym, taking it for an ice cream. We're gonna go for an ice cream minute. We're gonna do so much in this car. I am so excited, but the only way this has happened is because of you guys. You guys have watched the channel and the owner has come to me and said, look mate, I love what you do. I love the cars take the car and have it for a week. So I want to say an extended thank you to you guys and thank you to the owner, Jimmy, for letting me take this and just literally enjoy it for its intended purpose, which is sort of daily driving, B-road bashing, going to get ice cream in, all of that good stuff. Today though, the first thing I want to do is just go and experience this car. We've shot a few of these on the channel, two doors, four doors. This is the most amount of time I'm going to spend in one. So I want to spend as much time as I can in it and take you guys with me. At the moment, we're just cruising to a core location. We're going to take it down some B roads and just see what it's like. I'm probably going to do a separate, complete overview or review of this car while I have it in my ownership because I think that's the right thing to do. Because I get the opportunity to experience this car in different lights, I mean, at the moment, we're on a dual carriageway literally in a traffic jam in a minute we will be seeing some fantastic b-roads and i'm so excited honestly you have no idea oh, just listen to it right let's find some roads and uh enjoy this shall we radio down funniest thing so as i've got in this original ford radio of course in there wave 105 golden hour is on now if you know what the golden hour on wave 105 is they sort of select a year this isn't a shout out to wave 105 it's just so period correct with what i'm experiencing today in this vehicle george michael came on from like the early 90s late 80s early 90s Mate, does it get any better than that? I know maybe I'm just getting old, but that's like very era specific with this vehicle. That or some heavy trance or something like that, which unfortunately I can't find on today's radio, but that's the vibe in here. Pub, local pub to me coming up on my right that I never really use. So I'm gonna swing in there, I'm gonna get a little pub lunch, maybe a burger, we'll see what's about. Oh, look at that old car. That's cool. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but that was cool. We're gonna pull in here. It's relatively early, but I think they'll serve food to me. And also, this car will look so cool in the car park. I'm gonna park it right out of the way because I mean, I wouldn't want to replace this, would you? <laughs> Definitely not. Must admit, it's very, very easy to park. I know this is like stuff that you don't really want to know, but like, it is so easy to like position this car in the road, especially when you drive so many things. I mean, I drive big cars all the time. Anyway, let's go get a pub lunch, shall we? Bye. Bye. Bye.
Sorry about the uh, wind noise and the road noise, but just that to sort of stop here. There's such a lovely view just down here. You can obviously walk down this bit on sort of like the beach down there. It'll cut through in fresh water. It's so beautiful here, but how good does this look pretty much in any scenery? Like you literally put it next to a bench, a, a bollard and some scenery with the sea in the background and it just looks the absolute nuts. You put it in a council state, it will look the nuts. You put it on a fancy driveway on a fancy house, in my opinion, it still look the nuts. The paint is on another level, this thing. It's pretty original. I mean, the car itself is pretty original, but the paint is as well. Headlight protectors up front though. Such a flex these days in my books. Falcon tires all round. Just got a back end shot of this thing. Look at it glistening in the sun mate oh look at that does it get any better little exhaust on the back there it's pretty much one of the only aftermarket things on the vehicle is the exhaust some other little bits and bobs just unreal just unreal and in fact even in today's standards although it fits in in a sense because it's a four-door relatively normal car i still feel like if you know what it is you'd know and it just looks the absolute nuts even next to a road with wind and stuff to post some FYD orders actually so thank you so much for everybody that supports the channel air fresheners hats t-shirts all is linked in the description fydapparel.com that's how all of this uh turns basically how the channel turns is the clothing brand so thank you very much to everybody that supports us but thought I'd uh, do it in a lovely location I mean I've parked the wrong side for the photography side of what I wanted to do, but there's just like normal cars everywhere. And this is sat in the middle and people will walk past this and not even like, sort of notice it, which is quite nice in a sense. It's not outlandish. Like my series one, and I'm going to that because I've done a lot of stuff with that. It's so of era. It's wide arch. It's white. It's, it's so 80s. This 
It isn't, but it is at the same time. Does that make sense? It started, so that's the main thing. <laughs> Two litres, Cosworth. Yeah, so this is a 59,000 mile three owner one. Yeah, it's 59,993 it's got on it at the moment. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very lovely thing, this thing. They, not many people optioned the crystal blue at the time, so yeah, it's, uh, it is very lovely in here. Yeah, thank you, mate. <laughs> Cheers. See, that's what it's about. A lot of people walking around that we really notice in this car, and then the second someone does, they're like, that's cool, mate. That's cool, it sounds lovely. That's what cars are all about, mate. He's probably, I don't get him on camera, but he's probably in his 60s, 70s. He's like, that is, that is lovely. That's so cool, I love cars. This is why I love cars, mate. This is like, cool, mate, that is so cool. Big smile on my face. Glad that I'm able, this is what this is what my job's all about, right? Putting cars in places where people can enjoy them as well as me. And if I hadn't stopped in this little town and parked the car up and, you know, did what I needed to do for the day, but just stop and have a chat with someone, experience the, the, the love of the ownership and the love of cars with someone else, as a Renault Zoe pulls right out in front of me. <laughs> today's video there this is sort of the sum up and sort of the first couple of hours with the Sierra Cosworth that I have for the week if you did like today's video and you'd like to see more of this please click the subscribe button I'd really appreciate you subscribing for more sort of content like this I always love to bring the old school stuff out and enjoy it with the general public and with you guys of course and of course tick the list of me driving things around but thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you on the next one